everyone. So we are on an adventure today. Today is uh, Sunday in May and we are going down to Lacey, Washington to pick up some little people pieces. Um, the actual lumber yard, which I haven't really come across too much out there. Um, I'll need to find the lumber to go with the lumber yard, but, um, but a lot of the other pieces are coming with it. So we're driving down there. Um, and then we'll see what else we come across today too. So say hi, Jim. Hey everybody. <laughs> so stay tuned. So we drove past this place and we weren't quite sure if it was an antique store or what, or just somebody's house. So we're going to check it out here. Looks like there's some prices on items. So it must be somebody's store. Look at all this old stuff. Oh, that horse is covered in pennies. That's awesome. Oh, I spot something Barbie. I don't know if I can reach it. Oh, $65. Hmm. I think I'll pass. I can't even get in here. It's so funny how these are just random items out here on the porch. It's a cool recipe box. Oh, this little glass would be cute in a 4th of July display. How much is it though? Is that ten dollars? Mm, that's okay. Okay, we're going inside. Looks like that um, little heater is the only thing heating up the place in here. Wow, look at all this stuff. This is amazing. Oh, look at all these toys. These are super cool. There's a lot of very odd dolls in here. Oddly placed. is just floor to ceiling. This is an antiquer's dream, really. Wow. Look at all of these tins. Oh my gosh. Those were gorgeous. The glassware. These shelves. There's so much in here. Like we could be here for days looking at everything. Let's check out this room here. Looks like some linens. Oh, look at those old shoes. This book looks kind of interesting. I wonder how much it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, $30. It's one thing that I'm realizing about this place is that everything is super expensive. Like if you had to have an item in here, then you might be willing to pay the prices. But as a reseller, there's definitely no margin at all for us here um so we'll see if we can actually find something that suitcase is cool but in the meantime it's a really fun place to look through 
I think that this is the type of place where the owner just really loves antiques and really loves displaying his antiques and he's willing to part with something for the right price. I'm sure some of you have come across places like that before, right? I almost don't even know where to look. There's just so much in here. It's really cool though. I'll look at this carnival glass. That's amazing. Some little doves. Some more books and silver. This place just keeps going on and on. I'll go up here for a little bit. Oh, look at this Wells Fargo wagon and horses. I think that was $150 for that. Might not be too bad. Kind of a creepy picture. The basket's cool. I like that rug. I wonder where Jim is. Uh, he may be lost. Another creepy doll in a cloche. I hope some of you are going to participate in our cloche, our summer cloche collab soon oh look at that guitar that was sweet oh creepy doll in a cloche I don't know if any of you will be participating with a creepy doll in a cloche but we'll see what everybody comes up with let's go back to this guitar that's cool This is the tool room now. A case of creepy dolls. <laughs> Look at that. They're all just shoved in there. <laughs> that just cracks me up. This is a neat case. If only the items inside were affordable, that would be nice. But again, fun to look at. More antique tools. I know several men would just love this space. But there isn't anything in here that we typically sell in our Etsy shop. Jim is trying to influence me a little bit. But that door was cool. Okay, we're back outside. That 
raccoon hat. Cake. Plate. Okay, this is the side yard. So if you were looking for some lawn art or something, you may be interested in coming out here. Look at that old truck. Wonder how long that's been here. Hmm. What are your guesses? Comment down below and let me know. Looking back at the house now. Some old bed frames, headboards. I used to have an antique iron headboard when I was growing up. can find out here. Still haven't seen Jim in a while. vintage suitcase. We sell those in our shop. But nevertheless, too expensive. Yep, that one I think is too expensive too. Some old kayaks. I'm not sure I would trust those to float at this point. An old outhouse. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a bit overwhelmed. An old, old radio flyer. Hello, cute little bear. Hmm. Old toy. <laughs> hey everyone, so we just finished going into that antique, what would you call it, store? Or it was an antique house, house, barn, garage. If you needed something, mechanical, toy, yeah. art, it was in this shop. It was cool. War, memor memor uh, War memorabilia. Yeah. It was a cool place. Get lost forever in there. I know you could. The prices were a bit high for us, though. We did end up with one item, and we'll do a better video of that at the end. But um, it was a cool place. I mean, you could just stand there forever and look up yep. high and down below. And yep. Never pass a, a building that has an antique sign on the outside, because that's how we found it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so thanks for watching okay so here are the pepsi glasses that jim found we got 13 of them for ten dollars so the guy ended up giving us a swing and deal on these and we can sell them for about eleven dollars each so um pretty darn good profit thanks again for watching